In this video, I will show you how you can set up a free contact us page on a Google site. And during this video, I will share this free custom HTML code so you can embed this form on your page. To get started, you can type sites.google.com or alternatively go on all of your apps and then drive, then click on new, more and Google site. You have to be logged into your uh, Google account. First, we're going to enter our site name, which means our document name and call it free contact us. Now you should choose the theme you want to use for your page. For this example, I will use a diplomat theme and I will pick some blue color. To change the header image, you can come here and change it by selecting it from Google. You can even search, for example, if you want only plain a gray background, you can search and choose any of these or you can come and upload file from your computer, your um, custom background. I will show you in a minute where I have got these stock images from. And then we're going to name this page contact us. For the next section, we will insert the form and as I said, I will show you in a minute and share this code with you. So to embed code on your page, you can double click and choose an embed or go in the insert tab here and also select the embed code. Now you can embed elements by a URL, for example, when you're embedding a YouTube video, so you would paste the YouTube video here or you can click on embed code and then paste your code, click on the next, you will see little preview and then insert it in your page. I would like to position this form right here and let's stretch it down a bit. Next, you are going to place some text and image on this side. Again, you can double click to get a text element from this menu right here, or you can use insert text box right there. Also, you have option of choosing some preset layouts, which are essentially placeholders for the images and texts. Okay, I will click on the text and then paste my text. For the text, you have a wide range of options how you can style your text. You can choose a heading, title, subheading, uh, default sizes here, or manually enter any number for your font size. Also choose the font, then you can bold it, use italic style, underline, so on. To change the text color, click on this a icon right there and the default color here as a blue comes from the team that we have previously selected however you can go ahead here and change your text color you also have options to link your text and align it you can delete entire section by clicking on this icon right there and then you also have some spacing and other strike through and clear formatting options right there now next I will insert the image by uploading it from my files again. Okay, for the images again you have options of uncropping image and cropping it. So if you only want to display part of the image you can do that by using this tool right here. And again you can place the link on your image and you can adjust the size and position it the way how you would like. Next, we are going to place another text area right here. And again, I would like to go and change the background color. So you have some preset colors based on your team. I would like to actually make this more darker. So I'll click on a select image and search for dark gray. And then just select one of the available images. Okay, and then again, you can style your text. Now we are going to insert a Google Maps and add another text area right here. So let me put the text first. This will apply more if your business are physically have office or some place where you are trading from. So to add the map, you would go on insert and then scroll down on map section here. And then you just enter your location. search and select. As with other elements, you can drag them around and resize it as you wish to. You can also zoom in the map. 
And lastly, we are going to add footer right here by clicking on add footer. You can also add footer just as a text element. If you choose to use this option of adding a footer, it will automatically display on all of your pages on your website. So if you go here and click on the page and let's say we are uh, making new page calling um, just a home. And then if you click on the home page, you will see that footer is already there, but you have option of hiding it here by clicking on this icon. And then a footer will be hidden for the specific page you have chosen to. So let's get back on our contact us page. Now again, I would like to change this background of the footer by selecting one of the preset colors of the themes. And that's it, we have built our contact us a page in a matter of a minute. To save the changes, we of course have to go ahead and publish. And then you can preview how your page will look on different resolution screens by going and clicking on this preview icon right here. Now, currently you see how your page will look on a large screen. Then you can click on the tablet and on mobile phone as well. As you can see, Google Sites are fully responsive. To exit preview, click on this icon right there. If you would like to learn more about all of the elements of a Google Sites, including all the insert elements you can see here, also how to set up pages and do your custom themes, I have done another video about it and you can watch it right here. Now, as promised, I said I will show you where you can get all the stock media for your pages when designing any website. So if we go to the site called canvas.com, you have a lot of uh, preset templates to choose from and you can also go ahead and browse a wide range of uh, photos elements uh, text elements you can design a text here as well have a uh, stock of videos audios uh, backgrounds and many more canva is really great resource uh, also to cover your uh, social media accounts and of course, for web designing as well. Now, Canva do have a free version, but if you would like to explore and get access to all a premium content on Canvas, I will leave the link in the description where you can try it out free for 30 days. Now, as promised, I said I will share this form code with you. Okay, so to get the code, you need to go to URL landing.meritmastering.com slash request dash code dash merit. If you click on this URL, you will land on the page looking like this. And all you have to do is to type your email address so we can forward this HTML code to you so you can use it on your own contact us page. That's it for today's video. Please do let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments section. I will reply as soon as I can. And uh, I hope you have learned something new today. If so, click the like button. Click subscribe for more videos like this. And if you click the notification bell, you will be notified whenever I upload new tutorial. Thank you so much for sticking around and I will see you on the next one.